most important thing is uh, you'll recall that we introduced the HLM machine to the North American market at CAST Expo and uh, we've successfully launched it now and we have two years of experience with that new product and uh, we're also excited to have uh, celebrated the 50th anniversary of Hunter in 2014 and the final thing that's happened since then is we I changed the name of the company from Hunter Automated to Hunter Foundry Machinery. That's what's happened lately. The first machine that we, that we demonstrated in St. Louis was installed in a foundry in Iowa. And in fact, the customer there was quoted as saying that he produced 800 good molds the second day the machine was installed. So that's very good. He also has experience now after a year and a half in production, a 50% reduction in the maintenance cost and improved quality in the molds, so that's all great. Now to date, uh, after two years uh, since St. Louis, uh, we have 15 orders have been received. We've installed uh, seven machines, and uh, six of the remaining orders were actually repeat orders from the uh, original customers. That's all good news. Well, we just recently received the U.S. patent on the, on, in, on the inventions in the machine and they're mainly in the mechanical area. We applied linear bearings to the squeeze station, to the hopper car, and uh, magnetically coupled rodless cylinders to the board feeder. All of these were done to reduce the cost of maintenance and improve the uptime on the machine. So these are all important uh, attributes that were implemented. Probably, I would say this is the most dramatic advancement in the Hunter machine since it was first introduced by my father in 1964. The time of this year's GIFA worked out perfectly in terms of the HLM proven track record in North America. So based on the success in North American market defined not by us but by our customer results using the machine, we believe the benefits of the HLM integrated technologies will help drive its acceptance within the global foundry market.